So folks, in light of the Master Chief Collection being on sale currently on the Winter Steam Sale, perfect time to do a Steam Deck install guide for Halo, the Master Chief Collection. And to be honest with you, once you get it up and running, it plays beautifully on the handheld. Uh, 60 FPS pretty much locked on all versions. This guide should take no more than four minutes and then I'm gonna showcase some gameplay on the Steam Deck in game mode. Stay tuned, let's do this. Okay, folks, a couple of clarifications here. Obviously, you have to go ahead and install the game. I am recording this through my capture card with a keyboard and mouse attached to my laptop dock for the ease of this instruction. And I do recommend that you should be able to get to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and do that first. So you're going to go down to your Steam menu when you power on your Steam Deck. Go to power, switch to desktop. Okay, so once you're in desktop mode, go ahead and open a regular session of Steam. Go ahead and find Master Chief Collection. Now, there's a couple of things in this, and it's kind of a trial and error. Uh, the, the, the main issue with this on the Steam Deck at the moment is the actual orig initial logon to uh, your Microsoft account when you're actually trying to start the game first off. So, a couple of little things here to check first. Uh, what I recommend you do is, uh, first and foremost, go to compatibility and actually run Proton 7. So force to use a specific Steam Play compatibility tune and use Proton 7.0-6 or 7.0 or whatever version 7 you have on your Steam Deck at this particular point in time. We don't need to use this permanently, but we do need to use it initially. Um, I'd always go ahead as well and check to see which DLCs you've enabled. Um, now I got the Master Chief Collection entire, entirely, which includes uh, Reach and ODST. I don't like Halo 4, so I don't have that installed, but you can manage your installation size here, which is quite handy. Uh, but anyway, on to the main stuff. Let's get it launched first. Now this is, again, in desktop mode. We won't have to do this permanently, but we do need to do it the first time around. Go ahead and launch the first one, which will enable anti-cheat if you don't want to, and you want to use mods, uh, use the anti-cheat disabled version, but we're just gonna go ahead and use a regular one now. So once the game starts loading up, um, press the enter key, because I have a keyboard enabled, and you will eventually see the login. So it says, let's get you signed in. It's sign in. Now, as I said, Proton 7 is the only version that this works on. Uh, if I don't use Proton 7 when I'm logging in initially, uh, the screen just looks black and you can't actually interact with it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. So again, very, very clear. To get this working first off on the Steam Deck, you need to use version seven initially and you need to launch in desktop mode. That's why we're doing this. Let's go ahead and log in. So once it's logged in, remember you can set change your preferred uh, preference. It'll also automatically pick up your input. But in this case, actually for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and hit gamepad. I'm, that's my primary input. And immediately I'm gonna quit to desktop. Okay, so once you're back out onto the Steam desktop, go to properties. I'm gonna go back to compatibility. I'm gonna uncheck this. Of course, to use a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. We're gonna to close this. We're going to close this and we're going to go back to game mode and once we're back in game mode let's go ahead and launch it but what i recommend you do in this case before you do go to properties again just verify in the compatibility settings that it's held this setting which it did and we're going to go back and we're going to hit play and again selecting this one i prefer be hit say ask each time just in case i want to use some of the mods in the community workshop We'll go ahead and launch that. So once we're loaded there, what I'll do is when that game is loading there, I will show folks what um, settings I have on here as well. Uh, so I have the frame limit set to 60 FPS um, because most of the games actually run on 60 FPS here, which is actually fantastic. Um, and the other thing to check as well is, well, I just have the performance monitoring on just so folks can monitor the performance here. Um, so I'm gonna back out of that. and I leave that performance monitor on as we just do a quick test here. Uh, let's kick off the game real quick. Actually resume one of my campaigns I was playing the other day. Go to campaigns, cross lists. Okay, I'll go back here and I will maybe pick... What's a good one? We'll do CE and for anniversary, we'll pick mission and we'll do one of my favorites ever, which is the silent cartographer. And um, actually before we do that as well, we should check option settings. We go to settings and video. I should have done that first. Apologies, folks. Um, configure backgrounds for Windows if you want to mess, but I think most importantly, um, we'll put on the enhanced graphics. 
Uh, we'll do a borderless window, I believe. Which will, will be fine. And it should pick up the native resolution. Um, I'm going to use leave the field of view um, on, as default. Uh, 60 FPS should be the limit. Uh, you can turn VSync on and off if you wish. Um, graphics quality as well. I'm going to turn these on to enhanced. But I'm actually boosting up everything high here just to set it all to the max. I'm going to set for all games. I'm going to go back, save settings, and back again. And let's kick this off. I just go ahead with those options there, whatever. We just pick normal. And no skulls. And start. Start. And away we go. And the game loads impressively fast too on the Steam Deck. In all fairness. So you're going to get a near lock 60 FPS on your Steam Deck. Which is really impressive. Again, these are using the enhanced settings pretty much on high. And we'll get a bit of, bit of action here as well. Bear in mind this is not this is the enhanced version, not the um one of them contains the map room. Not the uh, original CE version, but you can hot swap to the CE version by just pressing the tick of a button. And there's also a setting as well just before we start, I think, in video. We scroll down. You can use Fidelity FX Super Resolution as well if you want to get better performance, but it shouldn't be a problem here. I'll just set it to balanced as well just for the sake of doing it. So you can use some of that filtering if you wish. It's, it's kind of made it a little bit more grainy here. But what I'll do is I'll put it back again, but you can play around with that. Uh, technically speaking, you don't need to have it on. But let's just go with that instead. Save. We'll go back to what I had it at. Let's just kick some ass here. As you can see, running like a dream, really. Bear in mind, I'm recording this again, as I said, keyboard and mouse with the Steam Deck um, via my uh, capture card. Uh, the gameplay is brilliant on, on keyboard and mouse. Uh, it's also kind of like a new, you know, newish experience if you've not done this, because was I had the games originally on the original Xbox and it was always controller first for me back then when I was playing it first. His ass, come on, that's get him. Oops, not my dude. Good drop of war talk here. We'll go for a little spin, and then, uh, yeah. Affirmative, Echo 419 inbound. Somebody order a warthog. I also have the Magnum. Come on, where's my warthog, baby? Here she comes. Cortana, drop it, baby, quickly. Yeah, all right, let's get some two dudes in it there quickly. We'll go for a little spin. Okay, let's move out. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control. Yeah, as I said, this is one of my favorite levels, but there's just so many mem memorable levels. I would say with the Bungie titles, um, I'm not a big fan of the 343 stuff, so these to me are, are the, the originals and the classics. Let's go this way. So as you can see, it's Pretty much running flawlessly on the system. Stick up these dudes. Um, there you go. Get this guy. Oh, I got him. Okay. I'm gonna get out. I was all the guys could just keep riddling them there with the. Oh no, my dudes are dead! <laughs> they got grenaded, I didn't even top it. Shit. But yeah, folks, that's a look at Master Chief Collection on the Steam Deck and a guide to how actually to get it working in 2025. Hopefully this has helped, folks. And if you're new to the channel, please consider supporting my work, like and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.